With Detroit Medical Center's adult kidney transplant program closed, there are now only five hospitals across Michigan that are certified to carry out the complex procedure. Plus, with the state's COVID-19 infection rate at an all-time high, transplant patients here have more to worry about. Tonight, 7 Action News reporter Faraz Javed gets a closer look at how the situation is frustrating for both people in need of an organ and surgeons trying their best to save lives. People suffering from kidney failure have to be on dialysis till they can find a donor. But for many, the donation process is complex, meaning they have to be on a waiting list for months, if not years. Does something like this will really mess your mind up. Bernice Vance was diagnosed with a rare kidney disease back in 1998 and eventually was put on dialysis, which she says no one should ever go through. Sit there and see your blood, every ounce of your blood coming in and out of you. It's like your bones is drying up and cracking. But in 2010, Bernice got a second chance at life after she underwent a kidney transplant at Detroit Medical Center. However, with DMC's transplant program now closed, Bernice's important post-operative care nearly came to a halt. Dr. Darla Granger at St. John's Hospital says the news is disappointing. You know, the whole process of having kidney disease and how that can be overwhelming for people. And once you start working with a certain team, you know, you have a connection to them and it's harder to then move on. In a statement to 7 Action News, DMC spokesperson Jason Barzi denied commenting on why the program shut down, but said, we are working closely with patients currently on a wait list or receiving post-transplant care in the program to support them through their transition into another program in the area. The transplant part of it, um, they'll be able to keep their waiting time and they can transfer their waiting time to another center. And I know that for our center, we're working very closely um, with the Detroit Medical Center to get their records. And to make matters worse, the pandemic is also complicating the situation. Our post-transplant patients are very much at risk for having bad side effects from the COVID. Dr. Granger says a person infected with COVID can't receive a transplant as the risk of the organ being rejected is high. Also, infected individuals can't donate either due to a higher chance of risky surgery. Because if they're vaccinated before they have the immunosuppression, the medications that weaken their immune system, after the transplant, they do much better. Now, in general, a kidney transplant is an elective surgery, but once an organ becomes available, it is very time sensitive to perform the transplant, rendering it essential. Reporting from Detroit, Faraz Javid, 7 Action News.